Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Amos Farm. I'm Diana. Today I'm going to bring you sort of a throwback Thursday video where we are going to go from seed to sauce. Back in May, we had shot some clips of us doing our largest haul of tomatoes and turning them into our homemade pasta sauce. Um, I'm going to start off sharing some pictures because this was back before we had started our YouTube journey. But now I am quite thankful that we have these videos and I want to put this video together so let's say in 10 years we can look back and see where we started to see our first homegrown tomatoes and the canning of our first tomatoes. This is my first year ever having a garden, my first year ever growing tomatoes, my first year ever canning. This is exciting stuff and I really want to have this here on YouTube so I can look back. I hope you will join us and watch. It is an exciting journey and one that I'm looking forward to growing each year. This has become quite an addiction for me. I'm always researching things. I'm always learning from you guys here on YouTube on how to become a better gardener. But come along and we're going to cut to that right now.
Alrighty guys, after about three hours, this is what we've got. About to get it in the jars and water bath can it. We have some yummy pasta sauce fresh from the garden. Okay guys, that is our journey from sea to sauce, our first year ever growing homegrown tomatoes. I hope you enjoyed looking back with us. I look forward to growing lots more tomatoes for many, many years. I've already got my eyes set on a whole new collection of tomatoes that I want to give a try. Um, I just recently got one from a friend in South Florida. It's called the Everglade tomato. It's a little teeny tiny cherry tomato that's supposed to do really well here in the Florida heat and it's supposed to produce all year long. I'm going to be doing some starting of seeds coming up soon. I'll be sure to share that. But if you have stuck around to the end of this video, I'm going to give you a sneak peek at how my watermelons are doing for the 2019 watermelon challenge hosted by VW Family Farm. And if you have stuck around, leave a watermelon emoji down in the comment section below. I appreciate all of you for following along with our journey. And until next time, take care and God bless. Alrighty guys, if you watched our last video, at the end of the video, I showed you a little picture of one of our watermelons starting. Here's that same watermelon a week later. And there was one other one that I want to share with you. And here is this beauty. I really hope these turn out great. I hope they turn out large. If nothing else, I hope they turn out tasty. See you guys next time.